guys welcome to my channel um, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future updates of my vlogs um, today is Friday and today I had an interesting morning um, so as many of you know I am an essential employee in New York I work for a hospital uh, a very large institution um, very well known and I actually been working five days remotely from home um, and I was notified that they want a lot of the employees that work uh, full-time and remotely to come back on site part-time so it would be part-time on site part-time at home three days on site two days at home so mind you guys I haven't been on site since like March mid-March so I've been working five days and it's been very, 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 very scary through the process. And don't get me wrong, you know, um, I've been home with my family and kind of adapted to that. Um, just being home and I sort of had like this phobia of stepping out of my house. Um, I'm Again, people that know me, I'm very proactive. I used to work out and do yoga and now I feel like I have sort of like baby steps. Um, and so to start being part of that society that I used to be, um, I've had to give it some thinking about this COVID vaccine that I've been pushing it off for quite a while because of fear. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one um, that has felt this way. You know, questions in my head are, you know, how do they come up with a vaccine um, so quickly, right? And not be on trial for a while. But because there is an emergency, um, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know, and so in order for us to live a little normal, which at this point, I don't even know what normal is anymore, because uh, nowadays, if you don't wear a mask and you see someone without a mask, you start to panic and, you know, and you're like, what's wrong with them, right? So it's like, that is the normal for us versus back then when you used to see people with masks, you would think they had something, right? There was something wrong with them. Now it's like you need to have it because that's what you're supposed to look like when you step out of your home. Um, and so anyway, uh, because uh, my job is uh, wanting for us to come back on site part time, um, my immune system is not the best. So I had to kind of figure out in my head how to process and accept that it's either I catch COVID or I get this vaccine and have whatever side effects it comes with um, on the long run and then versus having to get buried god forbid you know because we won't know what would happen if I was to contract it and my like I mentioned my immunity is not the best so today I actually finally decided to proceed with getting the vaccine and mind you guys I couldn't sleep last night I slept a couple of hours I would wake up on and off super scared dude like I was scared out of my butthole and I'm a tough cookie you know we're talking about a girl that's from the Bronx I am a very tough cookie but I'm scared of this fucking COVID you know I'm really scared of it it's crazy you know if I could beat the crap out of it I would <laughs> but I can't because you know you just can't you know so I actually processed it accepted it sort of like a clock you know and psychologically said to myself hey Liz it's either you catch COVID right or get the vaccine and it can kind of help you a little so a little hope comes a long way right and I don't want to live like this secluded from the world you know it doesn't mean that the vaccine is going to completely protect me it protects you about 94% it's better than 94, it's better 94 than zero, right? So that's how I came, with my, came up with my decision, what was best for me, right? So when I decided that I wanted to proceed to getting this vaccine, it's not because I had to go to work on site and I wanted to make this clear. I am not, I did not, I did not take this vaccine because I, I have to go to work on site because it's not mandated. But I did it because it's for my well-being just because my immunity is not the best and I have a family, right? So it is what it is and we have to keep on living, right? 
we received vaccines when we we're babies and you know it is what it is so again guys this is my experience i'm not telling you guys to go out and get it i'm just saying my story um and actually you know this is how it went so i woke up this morning my husband drove me there and i was shaking out of my butt I was really shaking of course he couldn't even go in with me to support me um, they don't allow other people in and because I'm an employee so I am considered to be group 1a I was the only one to be able to walk inside the process was so organized very organized it almost made me feel like I, I was on like not punishment but like some sort of military you know the way they just had everything laid out structured and organized when I think about structure and organized, I always think about academies, you know, like boot camp, you know, that kind of training. These people, there were police officers there. I mean, of course, you had registration people there. You had doctors on site. You had nurses on site. You had doctors that had retired, nurses that had retired, volunteer people to kind of try to come together and give support, you know, to the community. And that is a beautiful thing, you know. I really wish I didn't have the stupid immunity that I have. My immune system is not the best because I promise you that I would be the first one there trying to help people. You know, I'm always helping and giving. And not only at work, but just in general, you know, although I put in this facade, you know, to be this tough little cookie, at the end of the day, it's out of love. It's tough love, you know. So anyway, my, my me being the person on the other side now, being a patient, and not just an employee, I started to think while I was making this line, you know, fill out this paperwork, very simple, you know, like ask your question, did you get COVID, did you travel, all the rest, regular questions that they would ask. Um, but when it came to that particular time, when it was my time to kind of turn that aisle where the nurses were, I came across a very nice nurse and I don't know, I sat on that chair and I said, this is it, Liz, you're going to get it, you know? So while she was talking to me, she put the needle in and I didn't even feel the darn thing. She was an angel. And I and I see it as God knew I was very, very fearful of this. And I got it. I got the vaccine and I am vaccinated. So I received my first dose today. I feel no pain. I got the dose around 9.45 this morning, and it is right now, I think right now it is 2.51 p.m. And so far, I'm okay, no headaches, no nauseous, no nothing. We'll see, we shall see till tomorrow. Maybe a little sore, nothing major. Um, what was I going to say? I received a card, like the usual cards that people receive. Um, with my second appointment, sorry, second appointment, and they went over, I get a fever of 100.3, take some Tyler, it goes above 101, I should call my doctor, um, of course, when you got, when I received the vaccine, they told me to take a seat for 15 minutes just so they can monitor me. So organized. I am so, I've never been so satisfied in the way they had this life. It was, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's my daughter. And she decides to want to clean when I am doing a video, guys. That's the Bronx for you. They don't knock on the door anymore. So anyway, so... Just to, you know, just wanted to give that little update on myself. Um, you know, I, I feel so good. After I walked out that my 15 minutes was over, they gave you this little sticker with the time when you're done. I think, I thought I had the sticker, but I don't know. I think my husband, I think my husband may have taken the sticker. Did I take it with me? Oh, I have it. I put it on this thing. Okay, so it's right here. They give us a little sticker after you get, can you see it? It says 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock means I can get up at 10. So I got the shot at 9.45, 15 minutes sitting down, and then at 10 I can get up and leave. They give you this little thing where it explains to you which vaccine you received, how to handle it, how to take care of it, blah, 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 blah. You know, questions, 
what happens if you catch COVID, what are the, you know, what would happen. Very informative, very organized, guys. Very, very, very organized. But with that said, I felt good as I walked and exited myself out of the building. They were cheering. Almost like when you win a mar marathon and you win something, they were cheering. Because we are trying to save other lives. And um, it's very important. Um, so, you know, my condolences to those that have lost loved ones um, during this pandemic, which is very sad because I've lost friends. Um, guys, stay safe, stay blessed, and love one another. It is so important to love one another. And don't worry about the small little things. There are bigger things happening globally right now. Just love each other, support each other. And for those people that work and, you know, and their managers and supervisors and higher ups, have a little bit more sympathy of people. This pandemic has caused a lot of mental issues among a lot of us. And it's not because we wanted to. It's because we've been trained or programmed to stay among ourselves. And you can imagine this and within 11 months, we've all been fearful. And it's going to take a while for us to feel comfortable. It will take a while. Just guys, those leaders, have patience. Have patience with a lot of us. Um, you know, we are also fearful. Okay? Well, guys, I'm going to end this video. Please um, make sure that you like this video. If you do like it and you enjoyed um, and if you guys have any recommendations as to what kind of videos you would like for me to do, please feel free to comment, send me a message, and let me know. You can also follow me on my Instagram. I did post my Instagram right below this video. Um, stay safe, guys. Stay blessed. Mwah! Keep following my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Have a nice Friday, guys. Until next time.